Hello everyone and welcome to this preview of the Pandora Winter 2022 collection. I am Lena on theartofpandora.com and I'm super excited to take you through Pandora's biggest ever release. Um, biggest release to date. It is, as it says there, filled with love and meaning. For me, the Christmas collection is always such a special release. They always release super cute charms for our Christmas bracelets. And then we've also got some lovely Disney charms that we're going to see and some exciting Marvel charms as well. So there is so much to cover here. So without further ado, let's get started. It is set to release on Thursday the 27th of October but some online stores um, and if you check out the affiliate links on this site you'll see that some of the online stores uh, have released them a little bit earlier so that's very exciting. Here in Australia we haven't released them yet but I know in the UK you can get some of these charms already. Um, and some of them will be regional exclusives. So let's start by having a look at bracelets. Now this isn't a bracelet I've seen on the UK store yet so I think perhaps this might be one of the regional exclusives for Asia. This is the Pandora Moments Love Knot Braided Leather Bracelet. You can see the beautiful um, knots braided together with Pandora engraved and then you've got that lovely leather design. Um, I think this bracelet is very versatile too. I could see this working with my Halloween designs as well. I can always do with another leather bracelet at Halloween because at the moment I'm using my Star Wars one. So that's something I would consider if this came out um, in my region. Then we move on to a very festive, more Christmas themed bracelet, which is our Pandora Moments Festive Snowflake bangle so this is one of the bangles in the range it's got the beautiful cz crystal in the middle of the snowflake there and the detail is just amazing you can see it's in rose gold i think this is going to be such a beautiful gift um, for someone special it will be definitely something that i have my eye on for the christmas range then we have this gorgeous sparkling drops tennis bracelet tennis bracelets are just so pretty they always have this beautiful delicacy to them this femininity i really really love pandora's tennis bracelets it is going to retail for 70 pounds or the um, regional equivalent for your country so um, that's again a really beautiful one as a gift i think then we have the love knot snake chain bracelet that is actually um, kind of redesigned and rather than being in that more sort of bold leather you've got it here in rose gold and it is um, so much more delicate and it is a different kind of design in rose gold so you can see as it says in our description you've got the fact that it is um, you know a symbol of the love knots on the clasp showing that kind of um, togetherness that um, fidelity growing old together and a symbol of love which I think is really beautiful this collection is so exciting I'm literally smiling as I'm talking then we have our silver um, winter bangle the snowflake bangle um, with the snowflake in silver again cubic zirconia in the center I'm wondering whether this may perhaps even be um, a gift set where I know on the UK site you can actually get a bangle and then two charms for a good deal so perhaps this would be one that would work really well like that or perhaps it is the Christmas bangle sometimes I know we get a Christmas bangle um, that is sort of promoted as part of the promotion at Christmas time so that would be amazing so this is a little bit mixed up because we're going in order of like bangles and then into charms etc so um, this is the first of the Disney um, bangles we've got the Pandora moments Aladdin princess Jasmine bangle so what Pandora has done is they have actually released the Aladdin range to focus on Princess Jasmine and you'll see some beautiful charms that are going to come along with that too. So you've got this absolutely amazing clasp. I'm not going to be able to resist this purchase, I don't think. You've got the beautiful kind of um, stars in the clasp. You've got that absolutely gorgeous stone in the center as well and the little crescent moons the detail of any of the Disney charms is always so inspiring and it's a glass crystal that's in the center which is so so beautiful so I'm 
definitely going to get this bangle. I love everything that they release for Disney and this one doesn't disappoint as far as I'm concerned. Um, then we have another Christmas sort of themed um, bracelet, but I think you could also pair any of these star designs with the more recent Keith Haring designs that came out too because they've got that sort of edgy look at the same time. So you could dress this up for Christmas or you could actually style it with some of your Keith Haring if you got any of that collection um, jewellery. It's definitely a very versatile one, this one, and it's an interesting T-bar clasp which actually fits inside the star. I think that's amazing. I can't wait to try it on in store and see whether how good I am at actually fitting it into the um, star and to see whether I... Um, I need help to put that one on or whether that one's going to slide right on really easily. So that's a really cool design. Again, another beautiful gift potentially for Christmas time. Then we have another one of the um, really pretty kind of in theme with the tennis bracelet, but the um, timeless chain bracelets, which is called the sparkling herbarium cluster chain bracelet. So as I understand, the herbarium is, um, you know, the place where you have all these beautiful dried plants and flowers um, that are cut and kind of um, held there and preserved. So I think that's where Pandora drew their inspiration from. You've got that gorgeous um, flower that does look like a lotus and you've got that marquee cut cubic zirconia um, and you've got the pear-shaped sort of petals as well. So it's it's a really elegant bracelet design, this one. I think it's really beautiful. And that one's going to retail for £60. So really, really gorgeous bracelets. I think Pandora's sort of gone back to some of their more traditional designs in this collection. And I saw your comments online where some of you were like, oh, I'm not into Marvel. I'm not really into some of the other, maybe the artist collabs. I actually really like Pandora's sort of traditional types of jewelry so the winter collection i hope has satisfied everyone's need for those kinds of styles then we have this gorgeous red um, sparkling round parve tennis bracelet i think this would be so pretty if you're wearing a red dress at christmas time or a white and red dress perhaps or even a gold dress with that little bit of red i think it would look so pretty um, and another one of the delicate gorgeous um, tennis bracelets with the ruby red pendant in the center i'm sure under lights it's going to look so sparkly and gorgeous and it'll go really well with some of the rings with the crystals as well um, and then we have this one is a really interesting design you've got the shooting star double chain bracelet so you've got the bigger star that kind of makes up the center and you can see it's got its little tail there with the cubic zirconia and smaller star details you've got that sort of um really interesting chain design too where you've got the thicker chain on the left and then two of the sort of link chain bracelets going along on the right hand side there and then where the clasp is you've got that other sort of dangling star I love when the clasp has another little tiny sort of charm or adornment to go with it so I think this one's very festive it's got that little bit of edge in terms of its style again this would pair well with Keith Haring's designs too so it's really interesting how some of those elements of the me range and the Keith Haring range have sort of started to appear here as well then we have our love knot in silver so all the same meaning but in silver not everyone loves rose gold not everyone loves leather but everyone pretty much um, does love the silver um, bangles I think this one is just as gorgeous as the other ones but again it looks slightly different in silver and I think it could be styled in such a versatile way so it's a really really cool design the love knot design very meaningful and a very sentimental gift for someone um, and I love how the Pandora logo looks on it too then we have our Pandora Timeless Sparkling Halo Tennis Bracelet. So you've got that halo kind of um, cut in terms of the cubic zirconia in the center. You have that 14 karat gold finish and again that lovely cubic zirconia at the clasp as well. Very beautiful. There's a lot of um, 14 karat gold um, designs that this would go really beautifully with as well so that's a really special gift if you got that for someone too or if you received it even better <laughs> okay so let's have a look at some of our winter charms 
Now, this gorgeous charm is one of our stars. I absolutely love it if you have a look up close at the um, edges of the charm as well. You can see so many stars in this. If you try and count how many stars there are, you do start to get a bit lost because there's stars on the inside, around the outside, cut into those um, sides of the charm. And this is what it looks like on the bracelet. So it's the Pandora Moments Radiant Star Charm in 14 karat gold. Um, so it does retail for 300 pounds. So this one is definitely very, very beautiful. I think it would pair really well with any of your 14 karat gold um, jewelry or even some of the shine or the gold plated. Um, this one is solid gold though. So for those of you who could afford this, fantastic. I think it looks so beautiful or maybe you might get it as a special Christmas gift. It is another one that would go so well with Again, some of the Keith Haring that just came out. I know it's not for everyone, but if you did really like that, I think some of these charms would go really well with that. Um, and then we have this absolutely gorgeous heart with the halo and the angel wings being our Pandora Moments Heart and Angel Wings Dangle Charm in 14 karat gold. Very, very special. Very beautiful. Um, you've got the solid gold finish as well which makes it extra special you've got the halo um, the bail and then the angel wings coming down from that I think the design is really beautiful and it's got that little bit of a 3d quality when you see it on the bracelet too so it's really nice this charm I really like it I think out of the um, 14 karat gold charms this one is my favorite, the Pandora Moments Lucky Horseshoe Dangle. So it's a symbol of love and luck. And if you have a look at the details, they are so cute. You've got the beautiful heart in the center of the horseshoe. You have the little um, circles like the horseshoe has. Um, and then it just hangs so beautifully. And everyone understands the symbol of a horseshoe as associating with luck. Um, and I quite like that the bale is nice and thin. It's a little bit different to some of our other Pandora bales. So those cutout circles, the raised heart, it's also gorgeous, I think. Um, and it is on both sides, that design. So very nice, very beautiful indeed. This is a Pandora Moments Peace, Love and Luck Dangle Charm. So um, you've got the words engraved into the front of the charm. It is another one of the solid gold charms as well. Um, it's very, very beautiful, I think. Like, it, as it says, it's simple, but it does, you know, get that message across. And I think um, pendants that are set in, like, that circle form are really, really pretty. And they're gorgeous in their simplicity. So it's very meaningful. It's very beautiful. It's another, you know, um, special addition to a 14 karat gold bracelet or necklace if you if you collect those so then you've got the pandora moments um lovely clover wishbone and horseshoe dangle charm so you've got the three there and what i love about this one is how the wishbone actually has those cz crystals set in its sort of um in the bottom of each part of the wishbone that you break off so hypothetically if you were to break the wishbone um both people would get that cz crystal i think that's such a cute little um addition then of course the beautiful four leaf clover has the cz's set um in that 14 karat solid gold finish as well so a very very special dangle charm if ever i did see one and that I'm sure will bring everyone lots of luck if they were to give or receive that for Christmas. Okay, now, now we are moving on to a charm that I am not going to be able to resist because I bought every Christmas tree so far since I started collecting Pandora. And this is going to be no exception. I'm going to definitely get this absolutely gorgeous um, glitter Christmas tree charm in 14 karat gold plated. Um, finish so you've got it's it is their open work Christmas tree which we've seen before um, but not in 14 karat gold plated we've seen it in silver before so it's got the beautiful star it's got the um, snowflake alongside the red and green stones that represent the baubles as well so 
It's so detailed. If you have a look, snowflakes actually make up the tree itself, which is so gorgeous. And then you've got the red and green baubles or the crystals inside. And the bottom of the tree is a snowflake as well. So that is gorgeous. I think it's just such a special charm that Pandora has redesigned this year. Um, and it's definitely on my wish list. I'm hoping to get it probably before Christmas time because I'd like it to appear on my bangle for my Christmas designs. Then we have our um, interesting this charm, I think. It reminds me a lot of the club charm that looks quite similar to this. Um, but that's exciting because the wings will be movable just as the club charm is. So I think that's really, really beautiful. And it is our um, club charm for 2023, actually. So we've had another charm like this that looks very similar, I feel. So we've got the Pandora moment, Celestial Compass, Angel Wings, Dangle Charm, 2023 Pandora Club Charm. So you've got um, the gorgeous little wings that are movable wings. You've got 14 karat rose gold plating in the center, and it is actually a little compass. Um, and it's got that eight point star motif that you can see there in the center with the CZ crystal as well. Um, and the grooved feather detailing is really beautiful. So um, then when you open up the wings, like the other open wing kind of charm that I'm thinking of, it says, you are my shining star. So I think that's so beautiful. Um, I'm definitely going to do a review of this one online. I get all the club charms, so I'm definitely going to get this one. I think it's a beautiful um, gift too. So if you're buying this for a friend or a girlfriend or someone special, I think that would be really beautiful. Um, and lots of people collect the club charm. So it's interesting that we've got a similar design. Um, and the ladybug, if you remember, has opening wings as well. So that's really, really cool too. So the club charm is definitely on my list. Let us know below if the club charm's on your list. Do you collect all the club charms? I always do, so I'm excited for that one. This charm in the um, rose gold plating, I absolutely love. I love, love, love Christmas bells or festive bells. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. could just be a festive bell. But I absolutely love this idea where it's shaped into a um, it's almost like a heart but also a bell and I love that. I just think it's amazing. It's also got um, that sound of a bell as well. It's such a special holiday motif I feel there are so many beautiful Christmas movies which incorporate sleigh bells and that sort of brings back that nostalgia of childhood and Christmas time um, and you've got as it says there on the bottom if you look at the opening as bells have that opening to make the sound the little openings actually have hearts at the top so that's I think it's just so beautiful I love when Pandora adds these little details that just make the charms shine and sing um, so I think it's just really clever and the hearts are all joined by those openings so no matter where we are we are all together you've got those gorgeous stars at the top of the bell as well so I think it's just fantastic it rings like a bell like a sleigh bell if you got a couple I think that would be really cool you could put a um, spacer in the middle and have two beautiful bell charms on a bracelet that would be just gorgeous I feel for the Christmas season you can see some of the styling images here too with some beautiful earrings the um, charms on necklaces you can see the bell there you can also see these beautiful rings too that we'll get to in a moment so here we have another gorgeous snowflake a lot of you do get snow at Christmas time where I am I don't but I do think about the idea of a white Christmas at Christmas time because um, we're obviously the opposite season where I am in Australia but I still associate Christmas with that wintry feeling um, and we still get your you know pumpkin spice and all those kinds of autumn and um, winter flavors in our Starbucks here too. So we do hold on to that Christmas feeling, the cinnamon, um, and we do roast things and, you know, we still engage in that white Christmas, even though it's very, very hot here at Christmas time. Everyone in the Southern Hemisphere would understand. Um, so 
We have this beautiful snowflake charm. I do love snowflakes. I do love the snow itself. Lots of people in the Southern Hemisphere actually love the snow. So I think this one will be, you know, in terms of its detail, in terms of that CZ design along each sort of branch of the snowflake, I just think this is a standout charm. It's going to sparkle so much under beautiful lights. Um, and you can see that it's got... 36 micro bead set cubic zirconia for that frosty shimmer isn't that just beautiful it's got actually 36 cz crystals which i think is just magical so that is something that is fantastic and then the idea of the snowflake as it says there we all know every snowflake is unique and no snowflake is um the same to any other and it's got its own gorgeous symmetry and i think that's just got a special meaning to it as well okay then we have this really beautiful pandora moment sparkling herbarium cluster round charm so what you'll see is the herbarium um design is found across a lot of different types of jewelry so you've got the bracelet you've got the charm you're going to see earrings as well um, and you could get that as a really beautiful gift set so they're really channeling into that sort of idea of the beauty of nature, that delicate, dainty kind of um, pressed flower look. And I think this charm is very special. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I think it would go really well on a spring bracelet as well as a winter one. I also think it will, might even fit really nicely with some of your Valentine's Day um, collection pieces as well. So it is 14 karat gold rose plated. Um, and you've got the gorgeous CZ clusters and the stones and it's all in a spherical shape. So that's a really pretty charm for the festive season or the winter, the winter collection. Okay, let's move on to have a look at another charm. You can see in that styling, styling, you can see some beautiful silver charms on that T-bar star bracelet, which is really nice. I'm excited. After Halloween, we're going to see everyone's Christmas bracelet design. So if you've started early, I respect that. That's beautiful. This is a gorgeous charm. So this is the Pandora Moments linked sister heart split dangle charm. Um, and I think it's just so beautiful because you've got this gorgeous design and you can see each one parallels the other and it says sis on the um, on one of them and I think it says yeah it says sister on the other so you can distinguish who's who if you do have a sister this is a beautiful charm or a sister-in-law or if you're a brother who would buy this for their sister for Christmas I think I think it's a really pretty design it's got that CZ crystal it's 14 karat rose gold plating it's got that beautiful polished finish as well um, and they are two linked open hearts so there's that idea of connected um, and you've got the engraving, which I think is so special. I will always have a friend because that is the true nature of sisterhood, even if you do fight sometimes, but you've always got that. They just understand you at another level. So I think that's really beautiful. Um, and it's part of that family type of collection that Pandora releases. Okay. So this next charm, you've seen this charm before, but in silver. Now they've done it in 14 karat gold plating and I think it is amazing and I think it kind of changes the design and I actually would probably put this on my Aladdin bracelet because I think it fits in to that motif as well but equally on a Christmas bracelet it would be beautiful and you can pair it with the other one um, if you have some other charms in between the other um, Pandora moment star and crescent moon charm that is in silver that came out last year you could definitely pair it with this one as well again you've got a lot of the um, micro beads that decorate the edge of the um, stars you've got um, that asymmetrical star design and motif which is my favorite or one of my favorite motifs of the Pandora collection. The other one that I love is the hand-drawn hearts. For some reason, I love everything that looks hand-drawn. Um, so I think it's just really beautiful. On the top, it says engraved, um, dream big. So it's got that sort of um, reach for the stars and dream big and the sky, you know, the sky's the limit kind of message about it, which is really beautiful for Christmas time. Okay, 
Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Look at this bad, beautiful boy, this gorgeous reindeer. He's so cute. Rudolph, and look at the back. I absolutely love this charm. It is so cute. Let your light shine. And then you've got the Pandora inscription and the star on the back. So when he turns around, um, you've still got beautiful details that people can see because I know with some of our reindeer charms, people are like, oh, he keeps turning upside down on my bracelet or he keeps turning around. Well, with the dangle, they've made sure this time that no matter which way you see him, he's beautiful and detailed and he's so gorgeous. That big shining red nose that leads Santa through the fog, um, the antlers. I just think it's so cute. I just love this charm. I'm dead. This is a must, must on my wish list. You can see what it looks like on the bracelet there. Um, it's 45 pounds. So you've got, um, you know, I think this one's quite reasonable in price. And he does have a lot of detail. Like he does have the Murano glass nose, which I think is really interesting. And then that reverse details that we just talked about, let your light shine. I think that's just so gorgeous. Um, and you've got the bail with the clear and red CZ crystals. It's just sparkly. It's cute. What more do you want at Christmas time? Well, since you asked... We have a nutcracker charm. I cannot stress enough how much this means to me. My husband proposed at the nutcracker ballet at Christmas time. So for me, I'm definitely getting more than one of this charm. One's going onto my anniversary bracelet and then the other one is going to um, stay on my Christmas bracelet. Maybe I'll even get two for the Christmas bracelet because often nutcrackers stand like on the sides of doorways um, or next to columns and they are a pair so I would love a pair of nutcrackers on the back it actually says 2022 on the back of his crown when when he turns around you can see that it well you will be able to see that it says 2022 on the reverse so you can remember the year as well um, I wish it said 2018 because that is the year that I did get married but but I'm so grateful that we have a nutcracker charm. If you have a look at the gorgeous enamel detail, he's just adorable. He's got that little red coat, the green belt and the heart, the blue around his crown, um, and then the pink little rosy cheeks. I think he's just adorable. Um, so this is our Pandora Moments festive nutcracker 2022 dangle charm. It is very thoughtful craftsmanship. You've got the micro beading, um, realistically grooved hair, colourful enamel that bring him to life. And of course, the story of the Nutcracker when Clara receives him from her uncle is that he does come to life. So I think that's just so perfect. Um, so he's on my wish list if you didn't guess already. Okay, now. All of those Mariah Carey fans out there, everyone who's already played the song, and we're in October, I have full respect to you. All I want for Christmas is, and then we have our gorgeous heart there engraved on this beautiful um, red um, enamel CZ crystal silver charm. So it is actually technically called the Pandora Moments Metallic Red Christmas Heart Charm. So that love is in the air, that love actually kind of vibe about Christmas is captured in this charm. I think it's really fun. I really like the engraving because it does um, sort of have that hope and that love message the fuzzy holiday feeling as it says there you could buy it for yourself I will definitely be buying it for myself um so no judgment whatsoever um and celebrating the love and togetherness I just love that it's in a Christmas hat it's got it's wearing a Santa hat that's got the beautiful details around it with a CZ and then the um enamel as well um it reminds me of the Mariah Carey song so that is definitely something that um, I think is just so special and that transparent enamel my Valentine's Day charms in this just stand out so much so for a Christmas bracelet I think this is perfect I'm actually going to start a new Christmas bracelet this year oh excuse me I think yeah I'm gonna start a new one because um, I just don't have room on my other two so it's time it's time to start a new one with nutcrackers and all Okay, now we're moving on to a very special Marvel charm that has appeared in our winter collection. Now this is, if you didn't guess with the 
webbing on the side of the camera. This is one of our Marvel charms and it's one of our Spider-Man charms. So this is the Spider-Man camera selfie charm, which is really, really cool. You can see the CZ inside the actual lens of the camera, that beautiful black enamel detail that gives it that sort of um, camera look, the edgy look. You've also got the webbing that goes over because of course he was taking photos um, and everyone was trying to get a photo of Spider-Man too. So any photographer in your life who also loves Marvel, Marvel, sorry, Marvel would love this charm. Um, and it says selfie on the bottom. You can just see it engraved in that photo. I haven't seen this charm yet in person, but I am excited to do so. Um, so it is a sneak peek at one of our Marvel charms, which is very special. Um, and there are going to be so many more. We'll do a whole separate preview on the other Marvel Spider-Man charms in the collection because they've focused this time on Spider-Man. For those camera buffs out there, of which... You know, my family has a few camera buffs in it. So this is actually Peter Parker's actual Nikon F2 camera. So, um, which he uses for the Daily Bugle magazine. So that's really, really cool. I love when they pick things from films that are very, very sort of niche and very um, particular. These little Easter eggs from the movie and then they make it into a charm. I think that's just so exciting. The characters are exciting, but when they pick some little item or object that's important, like Thor's hammer, Molnir, I think that makes, you know, the charm bracelet sing. Okay, so let's roll back into our festive charms with the... So we've had a bit of an ad break with Spider-Man and Marvel. Now we're rolling back into an absolutely stunning charm. Like, look at, look at the detail on this charm and that beautiful... Um, cubic zirconia detail, that snowflake element, lots of snowflakes in this collection, which is fantastic. This is our moment, sparkling snowflake dangle charm. So celebrate what makes each of us as unique with the double dangle charm. And you've got the snowflake um, and when it moves, it's engraved to read, you are one of a kind. So that is so beautiful. This charm actually reminds me of cutting out snowflakes out of white napkins with my mum. We used to sit there and fold the napkin and cut out like little triangles and then unfold it. And it would make these beautiful snowflake designs and then we'd string them up around the house. So to me, this charm has a lot of sentiment associated with it. Um, and just like making those sort of paper people at Christmas time too, I think it's just so beautiful. It's very elegant. Um, that one's definitely on my wish list. Then we have another gorgeous dangle with this absolutely beautiful CZ crystals in blues and um, clear. And you've got that gorgeous sort of galaxy type of um, background, which is the Pandora Moments Celestial Shooting Star heart double dangle charm and we know with the pandora christmas collections they or um winter collections they will often do your sort of traditional christmas colors reds and greens um and then they kind of do a blue and silver kind of theme as well which i think is beautiful um so this one has um the gorgeous cz crystals that go around to meet up with the beautiful stars in the center. You can see how when it actually um, lies flat, the heart from behind sticks out like a gorgeous galaxy. So I think that one is super pretty and it fits with a lot of the astronaut charms and the shooting star and um, celestial and moon charms that we saw last year. So that is very, very pretty, the celestial shooting charm. Now, this car is fantastic. This is a scene I love to see, whether it's in Christmas movies or in real life. It's become very popular where I live to cut your own Christmas tree from a Christmas tree farm. Um, and so this captures that moment for me. I think there's nothing sadder in January than seeing the old trees thrown out on the side of the road and then the council comes up and picks them up at the collection. It's very sad. But this is a very happy moment where you're picking up your tree, you've put it on top of your car. I love the car. It looks like a little mini or a um, VW Golf or something like that. I think it's really cute. So it's called our Pandora Festive Car and Christmas Tree Charm. I really love this um, particular charm. I think it's got so much character. Even the tyres and how 
um, you know, detailed they are with those little crystals and the love hearts in the center of the tires. The tree itself and how it's got that translucent effect to make it look like it's got the pine needles, the red transparent kind of enamel on the car too, I think. And the fact that it's red and green, those Christmas colors, it's gorgeous. It's definitely a fun Christmas charm. It makes me smile. This one is also at the top of my wish list. Okay, then we have our Pandora Celestial Snowflake Charm, which is gorgeous. The details are amazing. It, we've got a lot of stars in, interweaved in there. You can see the freehand stars. You can see, again, this is one of those ones where try to count the stars and you you quickly realize just how many there are. Um, so it's very pretty. It will go so beautifully in amongst other charms, perhaps with color or some of the celestial charms too. Um, and it's got that snowflake motif, which is perfect for Christmas time. Um, and I just love that one. Here is another really cute charm that Pandora's just released. I think this one's going to be very popular. I sense a sellout with this one, um, which is our gorgeous festive gingerbread house charm. So everyone loves a gingerbread house at Christmas time. This one in particular has so much pretty detail. You've got the lollipops on it. You've got the walls. You've got the um, details with the little hearts for example the door handle is a heart it's got that cozy kind of feeling about it it reminds me of the um, hot cocoa charm with a coffee cup and the cocoa and the like little candy cane coming out so it's got that kind of cozy Christmas feeling associated with it the translucent enamel and the way that it's painted on to make it, the house look sort of sparkly and sugary and delicious is gorgeous. So I think this one will be very popular. And then you've got the Christmas tree detail on one of the walls as well. So you've got that festive element to it. So that one definitely is on my Christmas list this year. Pandora's also releasing, um, we know we've had... Um, the mother charm of this for Mother's Day. Now we have a family charm. I think that's nice because you're not necessarily just buying a charm for your mother or your, you know, sister or your aunt. It could be like your sister-in-law or something like that. So a family charm is a beautiful one because it's got that versatility. You could give it to a lot of different people. And just like the one that says mother, um, you've got the um, love you on the back so on one side it says family and on the back it says love you it's a very heartfelt charm and then you have the daughter version of it as well so you've got daughter on the back of this one so love your daughter heart charm very beautiful for that special girl in your life I think that's really beautiful as well um, I do like the family charms I do like the gold um, the 14 karat gold plated heart at the bottom it's really special okay then we move on to this cute little guy look at him look at his little face and whiskers look at that enamel the pink enamel detail as he's peeking out of the Christmas stocking with his candy cane there and you can see the stocking itself with its like knitted ornate detail the red toe the green heel he is so cute Pandora's moment festive mouse and stocking charm so this is a magical charm I think it is so pretty and cute another one of our cute Christmas charms they've done a great job this year on their cute Christmas charms I have to say well I think they have um, and he does come to life with his little face the whiskers the nose he's got so much character he's cozy in his little stocking so I think that's a gorgeous charm then we have one that's similar to the moon, but it's actually a snowflake with a little snowflakes hanging and notice each one is different. So clever. I love it. I love it a lot. So we've got the Pandora Moments Icy Snowflake Drop Charm. If you have a Frozen bracelet, Disney Frozen um, character bracelet, this will go perfectly with that as well. No need to explain why. It's got the color scheme. Um, again, perfect for if you're giving a few different snowflake charms on a bracelet, I think that would make be really beautiful. This one's really reasonably priced as well. So um, I think it's really special. And the three little snowflakes underneath are the, my favorite thing about this charm, as well as that blue color of the crystal. I think that's just gorgeous. 
This is another really cool star design. I love when the bale has stars on it. I'm, I'm a sucker for that sort of thing, especially when they're different sizes. The front of this charm has that beautiful galaxy-like um, design, and then you've got this um, star design on the back, as you can see. Um, and it looks like the stars are sort of shooting from the galaxy around to the back of the charm, which is very interesting. So it is called our Pandora Moment Celestial Galaxy Star Murano Dangle Charm. I love the blue Muranos. I think they have so much um, oomph in terms of their design. So it is very, very pretty. Um, it is definitely very versatile. It can go with your Christmas stuff. It could go with a Star Wars bracelet. It could go with your celestial themed bracelet or a blue bracelet if you have one. So I think that one is great. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this snow globe. The first time the snow globe was released, I swear I nearly fainted. It was so beautiful. And this one has that little bit of difference because inside you can see that sort of beautiful teal color. Whereas the other one that we have from last year just has that clear CZ crystal. And this one has that little bit of blue. And I'm actually hoping that they release a snow globe every year with a different um crystal inside or something slightly different inside so I think that would be so cool so this is our Pandora moments snowflake snow globe dangle charm um, I just think it is amazing the fact that we have that beautiful Murano glass the snowflake motif the way it goes around the bale in terms of the detail so you can see there the snowflakes and the CZ crystals continue around the bale and then they continue along the bottom of the snow globe as well it's just so perfect. I, I'm going to get one of these and I'm probably going to wear it as a necklace actually because I've got one for my bracelet, but I definitely would love to wear it as a necklace. So it's just so intricate, so beautiful. I love snow globes. I love snowflakes. The two together are definitely a magical addition to my holiday bracelet. Okay, now this Murano is also such a vibe for Christmas time. Also, I'm thinking my frozen bracelet. Look at the detail. It looks like it's captured ice between the two snowflakes. I think this is going to sell out in my region quite quickly as well. So um, get shopping, everyone. It's very reasonably priced, 35 pounds, so 39 euros. Um, and it is our Pandora Moments Winter Blue Snowflake Murano Charm. I think it will be so pretty again it could go with your disney muranos to symbolize elsa or it will be a beautiful kind of um pop of sparkle and ice on your christmas or festive bracelet as well or just a winter bracelet if you're just making a winter bracelet to go with the season that's a perfect murano for that um, very elegant very beautiful but very it does stand out the muranos always stand out on the bracelet Okay, let's move into another one of our herbarium um, charms. So we've got the Pandora Moments Sparkling Herbarium Cluster Dangle Charm. It is, like I said, the herbarium collection has different pieces to it. So we've seen a charm. Now we've got a dangle charm. Um, we've seen a bracelet. We'll see earrings soon. So you can see they all will go together in a beautiful set. This one does float freely. I think this one would look so beautiful as a pendant you could have this as a pendant you could have the bracelet and then the beautiful charm on a bangle i think would look great so um if you are buying this for someone i think that would be a really nice set to give them and it captures that symmetry of nature so well it's just so pretty it's so detailed and it will sparkle a lot because of the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, marquee-shaped stones, and then you've got that round stone in the center, so it captures that symmetry of the plants. And then there's our charm, um, which is the sparkling, sparkling herbarium cluster round charm. So as you can see, they do come in the um, same sort of motif, but they are slightly different. So you could wear them potentially. You could have two of the um round charms either side of the dangle and that would make an amazing o pendant design it would make an amazing necklace design um so that's something to consider okay then we have our more colored sort of stones that we can see um so we've got this beautiful 
Pandora Moments Blue Sparkling Leveled Rectangular Charm. So like I said before, Pandora does often release like your green and reds and then a blue sort of range as well. There's a lot of rings that look like this one as well, so it would go really beautifully if you do have some of the um, rings with the colored crystals. So it will add that beautiful, elegant touch to your wrist and it could pair with your rings. I love this next one. I think this next one is just so pretty, um, which is our Pandora Moments Red Sparkling Leveled Round Charm. So again, this one's round. The other one was rectangle. Um, and it is something that is so pretty. Um, that pop of red, beautiful for Christmas time. You could even pair this with um, your 14 karat gold or your 14 karat gold plated. Red and gold look beautiful together. I think that would make for a really nice design. Another really good gift too. If you're not quite sure what people like or what themes they're into, I think these two charms that we've just seen are really versatile and difficult not to like. Okay, now, Pandora Disney. Potentially my favorite collab of the Pandora range is anything Disney. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. We have here Mr. Mickey himself. So Disney Pandora Mickey Christmas charm. We've always got a Mickey kind of theme or a Mickey and Minnie theme. So this year we have Mickey himself leaning on a candy cane um, with his red enamel Christmas hat on. You can see his little sweater has an M on it. The detail of our Disney charms are always amazing. Um, we know that. We know that they're going to be stunning. So um, we've got our Christmas Mickey for the year. I can never resist the Disney charms. We've had a look already at the um, Pr Princess Jasmine bangle as a bit of a teaser. Um, so as we said before, we're looking at Jasmine herself and a series of charms that represent her. Have a look at this ring. So the bangle was just the beginning, guys. Look at this ring. This ring is amazing. I can sense a sellout in my country for sure. So this is our Pandora Disney. Oh, Disney Pandora Aladdin Princess Jasmine ring. The CZ crystal detail on this I think is stunning. I actually think it would even match a Cinderella collection too. If, if you want to go two princesses at once, why not? Um, so you've got the beautiful, beautiful um, ornate design around the stone that's in the center. It is a man-made crystal that is in the center, which I think is really beautiful. Um, and it's oval. It's an oval moonlight blue stunning amazing i'm on a magic carpet ride already i think it's just so beautiful um a lot of people are aladdin fans the aladdin collection does sell out so if you are interested definitely jump on board um to match with your um agrabah palace and your genie lamp we have the scarab beetle so the pandora disney aladdin scarab beetle charm and he's really, really detailed too, if you look at him closely. You've got that beautiful wing design, sort of similar to how we had with the um, Harry Potter keys, if you remember. And then you've got the cubic zirconia on um, his little shell there. And he does look exactly like a scarab beetle. I mean, they've nailed the design of him. He does remember... Um, he is the key to the Cave of Wonders and it's sort of dangerous treasures where Aladdin meets carpet and genie's lamp and it's the beginning of that um, exciting journey. I do think it's a really fun way to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Aladdin to have a sort of Princess Jasmine themed collection and then a few other little bits and pieces from the Aladdin stories. So I love I love how the Disney charms recapture that magic of our childhood um, you know, cartoons and movies that we watched. So we've got beautiful Princess Jasmine herself. So she is a dangle charm here. Again, going to be beautiful on a necklace. She'll be beautiful on those bracelets. I know a lot of people have all of their Disney Princess Muranos and then they've collected all the dresses and then now you can actually add the characters, which I think is great. I've nearly collected all of the Muranos. I've got to work on the dresses next, but, um, cause I was a bit slow in the uptake when they came out. I, I was just too young and didn't have the money, 
Um, and now I'm ready. So I think this Princess Jasmine is just so beautiful. You've got her, her distinct sort of turquoise color in the moons and the stars that are engraved in her amazing pants. Look at her face. It's so detailed. It looks just like her. You've got that beautiful pose. You've got, um, you know, it's fun. You've got her actual sort of tiara and her hair looks exactly like Princess Jasmine's hair. It's very iconic as it says there. It is her outfit. There's no mistake. Um, and then we have our gorgeous carpet, magic carpet. So our Disney Aladdin um, magic carpet charm dangle. It captures his character, guys. Have a look. It's just the magic carpet himself. You can see the bale is very detailed. Um, you can also see that the details on the actual carpet himself in the enamel and his little tassels. I just love the little tassels that they're dangled. So it gives him that sort of um, flowing carpet feeling and the engraving on the back. I can show you the world, of course, the beautiful Disney ballad um, that plays when they're on the magic carpet ride. So it's just so pretty. It's captured him and his character so well. The movable tassels. I, I do love the new Aladdin range. And then we have Genie and he's coming out of his lamp. Look at that enamel detail with the glitter. So beautiful. I think they've gone so far with enamel, Pandora. You've got his face. Um, and any of you that love Robin Williams, of course, will, you know, be rushing to get this charm because... He was a fantastic genie as well. So this is our Pandora Disney Aladdin genie and lamp um, charm dangle. So if you missed out on the um, lamp in shine, this is another opportunity to get a charm with a lamp on it. And I love that the lamp dangles freely below him. Um, and he's just been summoned and he's come out in that cross-armed sort of position and posture. How beautiful is this um, Aladdin charm too? Have a look at those details. Look at those iconic Princess Jasmine crystals. And then Genie on the other side. This reminds me of the Alice in Wonderland type charm that came out with their collection. It is a glow in the dark. So it's an Aladdin Princess Jasmine and Genie glow in the dark charm. So the fact that it glows in the dark is really special. Um, the moon is going to glow. I think that's just amazing. Um, and you can see that sort of magic and wonder that the charm captures too and then we have for those of us who didn't really want a necessarily um gold plated lamp we have it in silver with the beautiful green or teal i should say um cz crystals so that's just amazing the disney charms are always fantastic um so he is definitely um magic lamp collier pendant necklace is definitely on my wish list this year too can't resist Disney. I know a lot of you are the same. Here's another styling shot. So I think these necklaces, look at how they've styled the charms and then the sort of single pendant necklaces as well. I think that's amazing. It looks really pretty. So we have a snowflake necklace this year being released. I think these will come out in some of the gift sets as well um, for Christmas time. Beautiful CZ crystals. We have a shooting star Pave Collier necklace with the gorgeous CZ crystals across that lovely little um, star itself that dangles in the center. I think this is, again, another one that if if you don't want it for Christmas time, it would go really well with your Keith Haring designs too, if you love that range. Um, and then this one is really elaborate and gorgeous, and I can just see this as a amazing piece for New Year's Eve. Pandora Sparkling Herbarium Cluster Drop Collier Necklace. So you've got that amazing symmetry that's kind of then um, reshaped for us into a drop down necklace. And I just think if you've got a beautiful like cut on your dress, um, that would sit so nicely on your neckline. You've got the pear shaped and marquee cut cubic zirconia and you've got the geometry associated with the petal and leaf motif that they had in the rest of the um, herbarium design then you've got the actual um, pendant necklace itself 
I think this is very beautiful. It does remind me of a daisy and daisies are my favorite flowers. So I think it's so pretty. Um, all right. And this is an interesting one. The um, halo cut in a collier necklace. So Pandora rectangle sparkling halo collier necklace. So I think like, you know, I've seen the halo cut on rings and it looks really cool, but I've never thought about it on a necklace and it does look really, really um, eye catching, I think, and it'll catch the light. Um, you've got the pave on one side too, not all the way around. So that sort of a little bit of asymmetry, I think is very eye catching. Um, and then the sparkling drop doesn't just come in a bracelet. It actually comes in necklace form as well. So that's exciting and very interesting. Um, and it would make a beautiful set if you got someone the necklace and the bracelet. I think that's a really nice gift um, for someone for Christmas time. As modelled so beautifully in our styling shot here. I do like how they've layered the collier necklaces um, there with the with the one above with our sparkling drop necklace. I think that first and then a few longer ones or even that herbarium sort of dangled down drop necklace, that would be really nice. Okay, let's check out some of the rings. This one is so beautiful. The Pandora Sparkling Row Eternity Ring, I think is so nice. It's 14 karat gold plated sterling silver. And then the CZ crystals go all the way around. And I love how it's not just solid on the inside. You can actually see through the crystals. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and I think it's a beautiful piece for Christmas time. Um, so that's really nice. There's one of our styling shots for our rings. And then we have our celestial star ring. We've seen this one in silver. Now we can see it in 14 karat gold plated. I think gold at Christmas time can be really beautiful, especially if you pair it with red. I just love that red and gold color scheme. So I think it will be really, really beautiful. This ring would also go really well with the Aladdin collection, I think too. Um, if you've got an Aladdin bracelet going on, you, this ring would pair really nicely with that, especially if you have the scarab beetle um dangle that would look so cool okay then we have our pandora timeless wish floating pave ring this one is that wishbone style uh, which i really like i think it gives the ring a lot of character and it makes it very dainty and pretty um, it will go really nicely with some of the other tiara rings that we've had more recently um, and you can see the beautiful footing carrot rose gold plating and you can also see the gorgeous CZ crystals there. And they get smaller as they go down. So that's really, really gorgeous. I love this next ring. The Sparkling Harbarium Cluster Ring, I think is my favorite of the Harbarium collection. You've got those pear sort of, or petal I should say, shaped um, crystals. And then you've got the CZ that goes around the sides of the band. It's rose gold plating. Um, and you've got that cluster motif that they've had going on before. Loving the New Year's Eve look here in our styling. You can see all the stars, so beautiful. This ring's really interesting. The Pandora Timeless Wish half sparkling ring. So half of it is your polished um, 14 karat rose gold plating and the other half is with the CZ crystals. I think that's very, very beautiful. I really like what they've done there. Um, it makes it for an interesting piece of jewelry. Then we have the two rings in silver as well. So timeless wish floating pave ring because I know not everyone loves 14 karat rose gold. For some people it doesn't suit them. Um, I love both silver and 14 karat rose gold, but this one gives you that option in silver. So it's gorgeous. This next ring I love. I love it. I love it. Two shooting stars that join or collide together with the CZ crystals for their shooting star tail. Hand drawn, free hand, love it, love it, love it. Free hand, I think, is just so cool. Um, so it is our Pandora Shooting Stars Sparkling Ring. And then to match some of our Timeless collection, we've got the Timeless Pandora Timeless Non Stackable Blue Rectangular Three Stone Sparkling Ring. So it's this is no doubt once you wear it. If we're so eye catching, so beautiful. You've got the three stones there, the biggest in the middle, um, that beautiful geometry associated with it, and the symmetry, and the CZ crystals that go around the side, set in um, sterling silver. So that's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And as you can see, modeled there. 
The blue goes so well with um, all of the sterling silver and the CZ crystals that are clear too. This is a really interesting new ring. So the Pandora Timeless Wish Sparking Alternate Ring. So you've got the different shapes in terms of the teardrop, the circle, um, that leaf sort of shape as well, the petal. And I think it's really, really interesting. Um, I think it will be very sparkly and a beautiful piece to add to your Christmas wish list. We've already had a look at our cluster ring. Now we have this ring in um, silver, the half sparkling ring, wish half sparkling ring. I'm actually going to try both of them in store and see how they stack because I think one goes one way and the other goes the other way in terms of where the CZ crystals are from memory. So I'm hoping that they stack together in a really cool way and then they fit together. I think that would look really cool. Um, and then we have our Pandora Rectangular Bars Sparkling Parve Ring. So this one goes all the way around for those people that like the design to go all the way around, no matter which way it turns, um, you're going to have that beautiful sparkle. Um, and you can see there's a lot of CZ crystals on there. So um, you're definitely getting your money's worth in terms of shine and bling. I think it is definitely going to be a highlight piece in terms of the ring because of those five large stones. Um, another real standout piece of jewelry is our Pandora Timeless um, stackable rectangular halo ring. So I have a similar ring to this that it wasn't halo shaped though. It was more round. My husband bought it for me before we got engaged because he wasn't sure whether we would find an engagement ring or not. So he brought me because he knows I love Pandora a, um, you know, first engagement ring before we bought the actual ring. So I think this reminds me of that. And I think it's really clever if you go on holidays and you have a halo ring as your usual engagement ring to sub it out with a Pandora ring, because while it's special, um, it is, and it's still really sparkly, um, and looks like an engagement ring, but if you lose it, 80 pounds is cheaper to replace than most likely the engagement ring that you have. So that is what I do when I holiday or if I, you know, am going away, I actually take my pseudo engagement ring from Pandora to wear instead. And then I don't have to feel worried that I'm going to lose my actual engagement ring. So this one is really beautiful. I think, you know, um, it would be a beautiful gift. It would be so sparkly as a, like a new year's ring or a, um, beautiful gift, even a gift for yourself. I think that is the type of ring I would buy myself and have no regrets. Okay, let's have a look at some beautiful Christmas earrings. So we have that shooting star motif in earrings here. So Pandora's shooting star Parve stud earrings. Um, you can see that design where the beautiful cubic zirconia actually go the whole way along the earring, which I love. And the little stars are in the sort of background of the tail. And I think they're so beautiful. They're so dainty. Um, and they'll add that pop of sparkle to your ears. Then we have our Harbarium um, earrings with the clusters there. As we can see, so the Pandora Sparkling Harbarium cluster drop earrings to add to the other beautiful um, pear shaped and petal shaped and um, marquee shaped CZ crystals that they've had in the other types of jewelry. It's an interesting design. Um, that they released with the Harbarium. Then you have these beautiful, beautiful earrings, which I think are so pretty. Um, and they'll be gorgeous for Christmas time, gorgeous for spring, very versatile. They are in 14 karat rose gold plating and they're your Pandora Moment Sparkling Harbarium Cluster Stud Earrings. Then we have these gorgeous snowflake earrings. I love these. I think they're so cute. They have that little bit of sparkle it's distinct snowflakes pandora moment sparkling snowflake earrings and they do capture that magic of the winter season i love looking at their styling images because it gives me good ideas for what i could do <laughs> and then these gorgeous earrings i love these these are so pretty and if you've got the bracelet um and the charm, I think this will be so nice for the Pandora Timeless Red Round Sparkling Hoop Earrings. So they've got that timeless look about them, um, that pop of red, which is perfect for Christmas time. I'm thinking of wearing a red dress this year at Christmas, so I'll definitely consider getting these to go along with that. I think they're really, really elegant. 
Um, and then the necklace we were talking about before actually has matching earrings that go with it. Again, I think we're going to see some of these timeless um, pieces in sets for Christmas. Pandora timeless rectangular sparkling halo stud earrings. So you'll probably see them in sets. And then we have the blue crystal timeless earrings. So the blue rectangular sparkling hoop earrings. And I love how the CZ crystals go around the earring. Um, I think it's just spectacular. And that pop of color at the bottom. If you're wearing a silver dress, I think this would go so well with that or a silver outfit. And then we have these gorgeous earrings too. I love these. I think they kind of look like little um, fireflies as well. I know that they're petals and plants, but I actually can see fireflies in them too, which I think is really cute. Um, so the Pandora Timeless Sparkling Herbarium Cluster Stud Earrings to round off that collection. And then for more Christmas or star or celestial vibes, we have these beautiful stars. Again, if you've got a Keith Haring piece, you can wear this with it because it's going to go with that too. So there are celestial asymmetric star stud earrings. Um, I think they're so pretty. They're so detailed. They're definitely a standout piece on your ears. You can see on the model there how they sort of just pop out there from her um, earlobe. Lots of CZ crystals. I love the asymmetry design. Some people love symmetry, but when it comes to stars, I love the asymmetry. And then we have our birthstone earrings. Um, flashing in all our different birthstones October November December January February March birthstone eternity circle stud earrings so if you're a big birthstone collector and you've got all the charms now we have the earrings to match and I think these are great I think they're such great everyday earrings um, and they'd also make great earrings if you are matching them to your outfits or contrasting your outfits too so pretty so many beautiful pieces of jewelry. I love how the green goes with the rose gold in this picture. And I love how the silver and the blue goes with her beautiful um, cream shiny dress. So that is our winter collection, everybody. Happy shopping for the holidays. I definitely have a very long wish list after going through all of that um, preview with you. I think I've added to it while I was talking. I've talked myself into a few different charms there. Um, stay tuned because we will be having um, a Marvel release when we are allowed to release that one too. So you'll see a few more Spidey charms, I think. Um, but please let me know in the comments below what you have on your wish list from the winter collection it is pandora's biggest drop and then hence the longest preview video that you guys have probably sat through so congratulations if you've made it to this point um i thank you very much for your attention and time it was a very long video but it was so worth it because it was pandora's biggest drop i can't wait to go in store and see these for myself so let me know definitely in the comments below what you think you're going to add to your wish list. I've talked a little bit about mine, but I'd love to hear what you're adding and I'll probably grow my wish list, but just by reading your comments. So have a great day wherever you may be in the world. I look forward to seeing all your beautiful bracelet designs after the Halloween season ones are um, wrapping up. So um, stay tuned, look out for some beautiful holiday designs from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.